Hello everyone, today in this video, I am going to discuss about how to implement a logic gate using the monks. So, this is a, one of the most commonly asked questions in interviews if you are applying for any entry level you know, uh, interview job in a semiconductor industry. And also, this question has been asked many times in the gate exams as well. Or even if you are applying for any civil service like engineering service exams and all right. So, in such exams, this question has been asked many times. So, let's understand how to draw a logic gate using the month. For this, right, like you, you need to know what is the truth table of that particular, you know, uh, uh, AND gate or, you know, any logic gate. And also, you need to know what is how the MUX works. Okay. So, first, let's understand how the MUX works. So, I am just going to draw a 2 is to 1 MUX. Okay. This is my 2 is to 1 MUX. So this is my 2 is to 1 max. When select line okay, is equals to 0, what will be my output? So output will be my the 0 line will be propagating to my output. So y equals to a. This is when select line equals to 0. Okay. When select line is equals to 1, what will be my output? So output will be the whatever the value that is present on this B input, so that will propagate to y equals to b. Okay, so if I draw the, if I write the equation for this, it is s bar which is equals to zero. That time, whatever the input that is present on this zero line, which is a, will propagate to output. And this is my when a select line is equals to one. Okay, so whatever the input that is present on this my first line, that is b, will propagate to output. So this is my equation of the max and if you are writing in the very log and all so that time you will just simply write it as when s equals to a so this is my ternary operator when s equals to a uh, sorry when s equals to 0 it is uh, b input sorry when s equals to 0 it is a a input when s equals to 1 it is a b input so s equals to a that is a b or it is this okay so this is how you write an equation for the max, 2 is to 1 max. Now, when we are trying to implement uh, any logical gate, so you need to know this as well as a truth table of that particular gate. Now, let's try with the first simple one is AND gate. Okay, let me just draw a uh, AND gate and I will write the truth table of the AND gate. Okay. So, I am just trying with the AND gate. Okay. So, what is the AND gate inputs? So basically, you have two inputs. Okay. This is A, this is B. So, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. These two my are my inputs. And how the, what is the AND gate? It is basically when This is my idea. okay. So when when both my both of my inputs are one, so that time my output is going to be a one. Okay, this is my idea. So when any of the inputs is zero, so output will be always zero. So now how do you write a mux for this? Okay. Zero. This is my one. This is my select line. Okay. Now. Uh, when you are trying to implement AND gate using the MUX, so you need to, or any other gates, right? Like first, the tip for that is, you know, first you need to choose a select line, okay, as one of the inputs. You can choose either A or a B. So now, in order to make it easy, right? So you need to choose a input which is uh, transitioning to very less. So if you see here, these two are my inputs, A and B. So B, if you choose B, so B is changing like 0 to 1 and 1 to 0, like that it is continuously changing. But whereas if you choose A, right, so this is remaining constant for the first two and the next two, it is a remaining constant as one. So there is only one 
change 0 to 1 that one transition is happening so uh, to ease it down right like the implementation so what we'll choose is we'll choose a as a select line okay this is my select line a okay now you need to see how my output right so these are my outputs how output is changing with respect to the other input other than what you have chosen for this select line of the marks okay now um, here my, my y output right so let's analyze how it is varying with respect to b input now when when select line is or a is equals to 0 okay so that is that means when it is equals to 0 that means this 0 tag is selected so that for first two inputs of this a that's 0 right so my 0 tag is selected so let's understand how my output is toggling with respect to this b input now it is same here it's exactly following the input so it's a zero here but whereas if you see here it is getting inverted okay it is inverted so but what happens is in both of these cases my output always remains the zero irrespective of my b input if my b input is zero then also it's zero if my b input is one then also it's a zero so that means it's always a zero so that means what i can say is this is my grounded okay it's my ground or i can say it's a logical zero okay now now let's choose when a equals to one okay what is my output so uh, how output is the uh, behavior I mean uh, changing with respect to input b is here it's remaining the same here also it is remaining the same one to one zero to zero so that means output is exactly following the input okay so it's exactly following it to see so that means my output is following the input so my first leg of this box is b so that means when i write the equation for this so it's basically a bar right so that time what is my input that input is zero and when a equals to one okay so that is a and my this is my other leg first leg is selected that is b that means y equals to a b so this is nothing but your and b okay so the trick to draw a mux using a uh, sorry trick to draw a logic gate using a mux is that you should know that truth table and as well as you need to choose select line wisely so you can or you can choose the other leg also the the b input uh, as a select line but that time you need to be cautious that which uh, how the output is changing with respect to the other input that's a so if i choose this b as a select line then you need to group these two to get together and these two together and then you have to draw it okay now let's see uh, the next one so that is a uh, uh, maybe we'll take a hall again okay so let me just draw it i hope this is clear to you What is my object? So this is my, these are my two inputs A and B. This is my final. Okay, which is equal to A or B. Okay. So now I will draw the two table of it. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So what is our gate? So if one of the inputs of the R gate is 1, so then the output is always 1. Okay. Now Let's draw a mux. My zero, my first leg, and this is my S. So again, I'm going to choose A input as my select line of the mux. Okay. And this is my Y output. Now, how my output is varying with respect to the second input, that is a B input. So it is exactly following the input here. Okay. So that means when select line is equals to a that is equals to 0 that time 0 like is selected and my output is changing exactly as, as b right so that is b over here now when select line is equals to 1 how my output is very let's say that so 0 is becoming 1 and 1 is remaining as 1 so that means 
it's irrespective of the input of b the output is always a 1 that so means you can write it as 1 or you can make it as a this is a vd okay so that means my y output is like this or this a equal to so if i uh, you know write it down the equation in terms of the marks so it's basically this is a bar into b plus this is a into 1 so if you do the this uh, you know logical operation right of this right so it's basically it comes out a bar this is a a it's a it's equal, it's like you know a plus a bar b okay which is equal to a plus b okay so this is my or gate now uh, let's try to draw a next one which is uh, let's take a simple example which is a not gate okay so what is not gate so basically you have this is my not gate okay this is a bottle when in this is my a this is my b output output y so when input is equals to 0 the my output equals to 1 when input equals to 1 my output equals to 0 so this is a simple one 1 1 0 okay so now if you try to draw a mux for this So here you don't have any option of selecting which input and all because there is only one input which is A. Okay. Now when A equals to 0, so what should be my output? Output, sh output should be 1. Right? That means I will just make it as a VD. Okay. When input equals to 1, output should be equal to 0. So that means this is my ground. Right? This is my ground. So this is your Y equals to A bar. This is your not gate. This is a simple. So now uh, let's try to draw a you know very you know interesting one. So that is basically your exam gate. So exam gate is the one which is mostly the question which is asked in your interviews and also in your you know gate exams and all. So let's draw exam gate. Okay, so what is my exam gate? So it has two inputs A, B, and uh, this is my output Y. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Before that, I just draw an exam gate. This is my two inputs. This is my output. Okay, so what is the exam gate? Basically, if the both the inputs are same, so that means output remains zero. Okay, here the both the inputs are same, so here also same. It means it's a one, uh, zero. When one of the input is weight different than the other one, so that means here, but in this case, it's always one one. Okay, so this is my example. Now, if I'm trying to draw a uh, max, right? How it looks like is, you know, this is one. And this is my output y. Now let's follow the same step. When uh, select time is equals to a, and when it is equals to zero, so that means how my output is coming. So it's exactly following what is my input here. So it's a b. Okay. Now when you choose a select time a equals to y, right? So that time how my output is changing with respect to input b, it is getting inverted so that means whenever if it's a b input is 0 so my output is 1 and if my b input is 1 my output is 0 okay so that means it is negation of the b input so that means i can write it as b bar okay so this is my equation of the exam gate no i will write just write it down so then basically you have a a bar into this is a b input plus this is a into B bar. So this is your exam gate. Exactly the same. Okay. So 
So with the help of this right this technique, you need to remember that what is like, you know you need to choose the select line as wisely, and uh, also you need to know the truth table of this particular gate. So with the with these two techniques, right, like, you can easily draw uh, any logical gate using a mouse. Okay, and uh, uh, maybe I'll just give one one I'll take one more. So that is uh, nine gate. So that is a uh, and then we'll see uh, uh, any other, you can actually draw any other you know equations also. So let me just draw a and b. This is my nine k. So here is my output. So what is the nine k? Basically, you have two inputs a and b. This is y, which is equal to a b bar. So you can also write it down as a bar plus b bar, right? Okay. Now, just remember that why I have done this will come back. Okay. Zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. Okay. So basically, what happens when any of the inputs is zero? So at that time, my output is always a one, right? Okay. So this is my here. This is my one. This is right. Since here both inputs are zero, uh, one, so the output of the AND gate is one, but output of the NAND gate will be a zero. Okay. Now, if I draw a mux for this, right? How it looks like this? Zero, one. Okay. Now, when input is zero, this is okay. When input is zero, the output is always a one, right? It's not changing. With respect to input, but it's with respect of the input B, it's always a one. Now, when input is equals to one, so how my output is changing? It is negation of my input. So it is basically a B bar. Okay, this is my y. So if I write it down the equation, this is A bar into this is my BDD, which is nothing but the one. Then this A, right? A into B bar. Okay. If I do a logical operation of this, it's basically uh, A bar plus B bar. So this is exactly the same as this one. A bar plus B bar. This is a NAND. So this was it. I hope you have understood the concept. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to help. And also please subscribe to my channel so that you will receive the further updates. Thank you.